Hello and welcome. I just finished this crazy challenge called Inktober, as you probably know, and I thought we would go through and show you all of my sketches from day one through 31, hopefully relatively quickly. Here's the prompt list. I just put that on the first page. Oh, in case you are new, this is the Viviva sketchbook they came out with for Inktober 2021 especially. And this is the, what is this? Hot press, 100% cotton paper. I have featured some of my sketches, drawings, whatever you want to call them on my channel previously. So I will link my Inktober playlist for you up there. That does include every year that I have participated in Inktober. So lots of fun videos in that playlist. Let's get started. Day one is crystal. Now these are all going to look very plain compared to my previous Inktober drawings because I plan on painting them. Since we have 100% cotton watercolor paper that we've drawn these on, I wanna paint them. And I'm really excited to continue our use it up watercolor challenge, which is where we are trying to figure out how long, how many paintings, how much time, how many square inches it will take to use up this one single little palette of Himimiya watercolors. If you would like to check out the challenge so far. I will also link that playlist in the corner for you. You can see we haven't gotten very far. <laughs> There's been a lot of painting. Moving on, day two, suit. Oh, the idea also is to have one character. This is my original character. I guess that's what they call them online, our original characters. I've never done that. Was really excited and quite terrified to do that. And this is what we come up with. So suit he is wearing a suit and also being a suitor to her, and it's so cute. Vessel, my challenge with this whole thing was to try and make the character look the same in all the different poses, because I have never done that before. Not Raven, <laughs> so cute, I love that one. So yes, the Ravens aren't black yet. I probably should have just inked those in when I did the drawing, but I was like, no, I'll try it with the paint, but I may, I don't know, we'll see. Spirit. And this is the only one where like, I don't like his head. I mean, it definitely looks like him, except maybe the ears. I don't know. Eh. I love the drawing. I love the concept that he's like, oh, hey. And the ghost is like, ah, who are you? <laughs> he's so innocent. Like, he just loves everyone. And then this one, I'm like, does that really look like him? I'm not sure. But it's fun trying, right? That's fan. Watch. This one's going to be really fun to paint because it will have all these bright colors in these air balloons. Air balloons? Is that the right name for those? Yes, it is. Okay. So anyway, I have been to a balloon festival once in my life. I believe I was probably under the age of 10 and there are balloon festivals near where I live. You would think I would go to another one, but I haven't and I don't and I think I would like to. So maybe one day. Pressure, he found a fire hose and is just having way too much fun. Pick, again, his face at that angle, that was hard for me to draw. And this one won't look like diddly squat till it's painted because I'm going to use gold paint to put gold veins in here. So he is picking out the gold from the gold veins and it'll be in a cave so it'll be dark. So yep, got lots of work to do. <laughs> Sour. Puckerfest, <laughs> had to add that on there because why not? <laughs> this next spread is my absolute favorite and I'll put them both in the screen for you here. Both of these drawings are just, they make me happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> Cause he's just stuck in this tire swing on this side and he doesn't care because he's happy because he has a fresh flower to smell and he's like, wow, this is kind of nice. <laughs> And this one, he's just relaxing on the roof, sunbathing. I just love it. This one, both of these are going to be really fun to paint. I can't wait. And here we have Tick and Helmet. Like again, he's like looking down and doing his face in that position. It's, it's interesting. So hopefully he kind of looks the same in each of these drawings. I. I think I could probably work on that a little bit, but not bad for my first try, compass, obviously. Collide, they're supposed to be sumo wrestling because they're big fat cats, right? So trying to squish their faces together, that was an interesting challenge. I erased this whole section on my sketches like a hundred times. Uh, yeah, at least a hundred times, <laughs> it feels like it. The one and only that I actually painted 
and this was actually with, what do you call those, brush markers? And I did a little bit of watercolor paint for the moon to get the glow. Just wanted to see what this one would look like finished. And I like the little yellow accent I did up there in the label. That's kind of fun. Loop. <laughs> I did this whole drawing making the, what do you call that, roller coaster holdiani things. You like my technical terms there. And then I realized after I put it on Instagram, I'm like, wait, those aren't over his shoulders. They're not actually holding him in. So then I added these black straps to it. <laughs> I felt like a, a little bit of a doofus, but that's all right. I fixed it. Sprout. He is so excited because this plant is growing. He's just, he's loving it. And I tried to get his little hand like, oh, like that. And so it's interesting doing foreshortening and all of that with this character and then this hand's farther away. Paw, I guess I should call it a paw, right? But it's it's been a fun challenge. Aw, fuzzy, taking a nap with the teddy bear. <laughs> Open, it was kind of cool because I was wrapping a present and I had a box just like this, like near my desk, so it definitely was on my mind having this box with these colorful balloons. Well, they will be colorful once I paint it, and again, his face is just not quite the same, but I don't know. I, I had to stop at some point and just finish things. So I have to work on that. That's all right. <laughs> Leak. So except for like this ear is a little bit too far down, I think this definitely looks like his face. So it's kind of cool. He's watering the plant that sprouted. I guess it sprouted into a tulip. At least that's what I have decided but his watering can is leaking. We will come back to that watering can in the next few pages here. Extinct, he is at a dinosaur museum. Very awe-inspiring, and I forgot to make the inside of that mouth on the bottom side black, but that can happen when I paint it, so no big deal. Splat! <laughs> I just did the foreground on this one. I just did him falling off the skateboard and splatting on the ground, but when I paint it, I would like to maybe put some kind of skateboard park in the back. So some gray ramps and all of that stuff. So there is going to be some context in this one once I paint it, I think. That's the idea anyway. Aw, connect. For some reason, I know it was only October when we were doing all these drawings, but I had Christmas tree on the mind and he is connecting the power cord to light up the tree. So when I paint this, we will have these little lights all lit up makes him very happy and I think he's so cute. Another one that won't be very awesome until it's painted. I have some metallic paints from Imuki. If that's how you say it, I'll put the name up on the screen for you guys that will really work for showing. Actually, do I have that right here? I might have that right here. Hang on. Yeah, right here. I happen to have my sketchbook here. So these are the metallic paints from that Amuki 48 pan set. I did a review on that and I will link that video for you up in the corner. So I will be using these metallic paints from that set to do the sparkly sparklers. <laughs> Crispy and I accidentally shot a bug in this this morning. So that's this goo here and there and I couldn't get it off. So hopefully the paint will cover it and that makes me very sad. Dang bug. Anyway, I love this one because one of my favorite things to do is squish the leaves, <laughs> or I should say stomp the leaves when they're hard and crispy on the ground. I just love doing that. I'm like a kid in a candy store when there are fall leaves on the ground. So they are crispy. He's gonna stomp them like I love to do. And he is so happy about it. <laughs> I do like his arm stances also because I think if you're going to stomp something, you're gonna have your fists on your side like he does, and it's just cute. And this time I put his tail around the front and that was a fun change because usually it's, I don't know, around the back like that, oops, like that, and all of that. So it was fun to bring it around. Okay, day 29, patch. Remember that leaky water pill? Well, he is patching it with what is going to be duct tape. So we'll see how that works, some kind of tape. I'm gonna make it silver and I probably will use the metallic paint from this set as well, except I'm not sure it came with silver. So I do have a silver, what do you call this? I don't know what this is, hang on. This is a silver dual tip marker we got in one of the 
subscription box. I think doing the duct tape in that color could work out okay. I also have a silver STA marker. Is that what this brand is? Yeah, STA acrylic painter. This is silver and that would work really well as well. I did a review on these comparing them to Posca's. I'll link that video for you as well. I think I've said as well a lot in this video, but oh well. Okay, Slither. I love this one too because most people, they come upon a snake and they'll be like, ah, scary. And he's just like, hey, hi, how you doing? You wanna be friends? <laughs> and so I had a little trouble with his knees trying to figure out what he looked like kneeling like that. And I still don't think they're quite right, but again, I have to stop somewhere and just make things work. And the last one is Risk. And I really like this one. I like the way it turned out with this, all his little pads on his paws showing and helmet. Oh, it's just so cute. And I do have, I counted, I forget now, but let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 pages left because this came with 25 sheets, which is 50 pages. And so it's kind of weird that Viviva would put out an Inktober sketchbook with pages that don't match Inktober, plus maybe like one for the beginning. So you could have a title or whatever, but that's what they did. And so what I will do is because the official Inktober has weekly prompts. So once a week throughout the entire year, they'll put out a prompt. I'll start from day 31 here and I'll go to week whatever next week is, or this, will I do the prompt this week? Probably this week, this week, and then the next week. So I'll just continue the weekly prompts until my sketchbook is full with this cute little character. I am getting a little tired of drawing him, but at the same time, I'm getting much quicker, much better at it. And so I think that is definitely something that I wanna continue at least until the sketchbook is over. All right, so if you don't wanna miss any of the journey, I won't be bringing this back a whole lot, except maybe at the end when they're all painted and we have an update on this watercolor set. You definitely don't wanna miss that. So subscribe down below if you're new, hit the bell for all notifications, because we have a lot of fun and interesting things coming up on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you guys had a good Inktober if you participated. If you're just an observer, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, what are you two doing? Enjoying the sunspot by the piano? <laughs> Leave you alone? Okay, bye. Well, in a second.